All right, now we're going to do the log. What form do we start with? Cylinder. Okay, so it's a cylinder that's laying down. So I'm going to start with a circle. Okay? A circle. And I go around and around until I get the shape that I want. Then I'm going to erase what I don't want to keep. Now, this is drawn to perspective, meaning these lines are going to get smaller, uh, closer together as they go backwards, okay? All eyes need to look up here so you can see, please. Okay, so these lines go back at an angle. They also get a little bit closer together because they're drawn to perspective and it's called foreshortening. When things get closer to you, they get bigger. When they go further back in the distance, they get converge and get closer together. And that's called foreshortening when we're trying to draw things that are closer to us and then go back into a distance. Then this curve is going to match the curve of your front circle. So you've got a cylinder that is laying on a surface, okay? Now we want to make this look like a log. So I'm going to put the edge of the bark that you see. All right, and then you're going to put like lines, that go, the rings of the circle you know, that tell how many, how old a tree is. There's more up here at the top than there is at the bottom. And then on the side, you're going to do the same kind of texture marks that we made on the bucket. I'm making them darker on the side so that we'll still be able to see it. And then as it gets closer to the top, they're getting lighter. So you're creating a value change just in how dark you're making your marks. And if you'll notice, my markings kind of follow the angle of the edges of my log. All right, now I'm going to go in with my ebony pencil. I'm going to sharpen it because it's not sharp enough. So I've got the line drawing done of the ebony pencil. Now I want to go in and put my dark darks. I can see there's a dark rim, and I'm not doing a, t a line that's completely together. I'm just doing little marks because it's not a continuous line. They're interrupted lines, and it's called closure when your eye puts them together. All right, now I'm going to do like little scribbles that follow the angle. Not so much the circular method now, it's more like little dashes that match the markings that I'm trying to make. And where I want them the darkest, I'm bearing down. Y'all should tell me if my log is not in the camera. So I'm going to gradually get it lighter as I come up by not putting as much pressure on my pencil. So my markings are much closer together down here, making it darker. The farther away you put your markings, the, the lighter it will look too. Now, do I really want to use on the log itself? Do I really think, do you think the texture warrants using the shading stump? Yes. How? Um, it makes 
Okay, so how do you think I'm going to use my shading stump? Am I going to use it as a blender or as a drawing tool? I'm going to use it as a blender for my cast shadow, but I might use it just a little bit as a drawing tool to go over some of my markings. But I'm not going to blend over too much on the... Um, on the markings because I want it to look I want you to be able to see the texture and if I blend it out too much you're going to blend away the um, dark values and you're going to blend away the texture so now I want to create a cast shadow that is just about the same width if you look at the cast shadow it's about the same width as the log so if I take the width of my log my cast shadow is going to be go at the same angle out from it. Okay, so it's kind of like a parallel. Is that a parallelogram? All right, so it's lighter as it goes up towards the log. I'm still using my ebony pencil, but and then where I want it to be darker, I'm going to make it get darker by bearing down putting pressure on my pencil to create a very dark value. Alright, so here is where I'm going to use my shading stump. I'm going to blend it together here doing the circle method. There's no white in this, so I'm okay blending it some. I don't want all my dark values to disappear though. The looks like the cast shadow is lighter than the log so to make that happen I need to go back and make my log a little darker all right so I'm going to draw with the point I said nor normally you wouldn't use the point Clean it off first, see how much dark you have on there, and just draw over your lighter lines to blend it out a little bit. Thank you. Okay, so I'm also going to do the same on the rings that go around where I'm looking at the log and you can see that it's a little bit darker at the top of the log and you have more white highlights on this side of the log And if you feel like you want to need to blend in some of the tech dark texture marks on the side, you can. Just make sure that you do not blend away all your dark values. I think I need a little bit going around the edge here. So there's my log. <laughs> 